Well, guys, there's the 79 Chrysler Cordova all cleaned up and ready to start driving for this season. Uh, but that is not what this video is about today. We're talking fuel economy in a Yugo. So stay tuned. So there's George coming out to uh, steal the show. But today what we want to do is we wanted to give you a little bit of an update on the Yugo since we came back from the Moncton Nationals. I've got to go put some fuel in this thing and we're going to check and see what kind of fuel economy this thing is getting. Uh, so let's get it started up so it'll warm up and then we'll talk a little bit about what we're doing. And she's a hot one, so it's a windows down kind of day. So as you can see right now, we are at about a half a tank of fuel. And since we've been driving this thing, I'll just take a look at the odometer, but I think we've probably roughly put about 100 miles on it. So we're gonna head down to the gas station. We're gonna to top it up, see how much it took, and then calculate the miles per gallon on this little Yugo. So since we got back from the Moncton Nationals, uh, there's a couple of things that I have noticed about this thing is that she's cold blooded. It takes a while for it to get up to temperature so that when you let the clutch out, it doesn't wanna bog down unless you give her the goose and full throttle, let that clutch out, let her wind out, and it won't do it because this thing loves the full throttle. I say that because when I am driving, I get more acceleration, more power at full throttle. When I come up to a hill, rather than just easing into the gas and getting up that hill, uh, it'll bog down and it will die. And it does not like that because, well, it's gutless. So if you, put it right to the mat, those two barrels open right up, and then this thing just climbs right up the hill and it doesn't even lose miles per hour. So uh, it seems to be working all right. Still got a few bugs to work out. Uh, we'll get some fine tuning on that carburetor, but in the meantime, I think I am gonna daily drive this thing for a little while. Uh, but we do have the Cordoba all cleaned up and ready to roll, so I do wanna be driving that. Uh, but in the meantime, this is gonna do, and I'm super excited to find out how much uh, fuel economy this thing's gonna give us now that we've actually got some tested mileage on this thing. So uh, let's get into it, head down to the gas station, and I want you to leave your comments down below right now. How much do you think it's gonna to take to fill this thing up from half a tank of gas? All right, let's see if she's warmed up yet. She'll be fine. See what I mean? It's got that one little spot that it doesn't like. And unless you're under full throttle. So $28 is what she took to fill this thing up from half a tank. So let's go do the math. So it took 3.85 gallons to fill this thing up from half a tank. And when you do the math on 110 miles, that's roughly about 28 and a half miles per gallon. Now I expected it to be more, but you gotta remember tuning on this thing and driving on it, there's a lot of idling time. So now that we're at a full tank, we'll be able to drive this thing around a little while longer and do another miles per gallon. So stay tuned for that. So I wanna know from you guys, what do you think? Is 28 and a half miles per gallon decent on this thing or should it be getting more? I'm thinking it should be getting more, but like I said before, keep in mind that we had to do an awful lot of idling, uh, trying to get this thing working properly to begin with. But uh, So what we're gonna do is we are gonna take this out on a little bit of a road trip. Uh, we're gonna go up and uh, hit what we used to do for the old distance to empty challenge. We're gonna go up to exit 45, we're gonna whip it around, we're gonna come back, hit the gas station, and that will probably put approximately 50 miles on this car. And then we can do another quick calculation to see if driving on the highway is gonna get us better fuel economy, which it should. Um, and I'm guessing at that point, we probably should see pretty close to 40 miles per gallon. Okay, so the mileage right now is 57,423. So we'll do our little round trip and we'll check it when we get back and head to the gas station, top it off, see where we are. So I don't know if you're able to hear this over the wind, but we seem to be able to cruise at the speed limit, no 
problem at all. So we are at our exit and uh, on the way up the hill where the exit is, this thing started bogging down like I couldn't even get flat throttle like I could get before. So I don't know what's going on, but I'm gonna pull in here, grab a bite to eat, and then we'll hit the road back home. Maybe we can figure out what's going on. Hopefully we'll make it there. That was a good meal. Anyways, I did end up getting the car started again, no problems, and there wasn't really any question whether it would or not, but sometimes I just wonder if it gets too hot, is it gonna do that thing like it used to where it wouldn't start? But anyways, we're about ready to get back on the highway, another 20 miles back home, and we'll stop at the gas station and see how good on fuel this thing is on the highway. back to the gas station we are at uh now let me show you the mileage we're at 57 463 so that should put us at exactly 40 miles so let's gas up and do our calculation and see where we are any guesses again comment below so there you go second fill up seven dollars 91 cents and 4.125 liters let me calculate that into a gallon for you so 4.125 liters works out to 1.09 American gallons. So if you do the math, we did 40 miles and you divide that by 1.09, that's almost 37 miles per gallon. That's pretty stinking good. I was hoping to see 40. I don't know about you guys, but I think this car is gonna pay for itself very quickly. So hopefully we can get this done and drive this put some money in our pocket. We got a little tuning to do on that carburetor, but at the end of the day, I think it's a keeper. And there you go, guys. There is the fuel economy on the Yugo. If you'd like to see me do another video like this on Dale the Truck or the Cordoba, let me know. And we will do another trip around the block uh, and see what kind of fuel economy we're getting with each of these vehicles. So um, hope you enjoyed this content. I know it wasn't a very long video, but nevertheless, uh, we're, we're learning on this old Yugo here and we're gonna try and figure out how we can get a few more MPGs out of it and get that carburetor tuned up so that there's no more hesitation, no more lagging and we can maintain highway speeds a little bit easier. Anyways, thanks for watching. Stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. I love you guys. God bless. Let's do it again real soon.